I'm Howard Hale with the Harvest USA Report. Today's report will be from northwestern North Dakota. I'll be back with that in just a moment. But right now, when you visit horsemanscorner.com, there's a lot to see and hear. There are podcasts, horses for sale, new radio programs six days a week, and links to horse-related businesses. Horsemanscorner.com is educational, entertaining, and if you have a horse-related business, you can be a part of it for just about 55 cents a day. Good place for you to visit if you like horses. Horsemanscorner.com, Horsemanscorner.com. Our report today is from Dylan DeBach. He's an Oklahoma custom harvester working at Tioga, North Dakota. That's in the northwestern part of the state. What are you harvesting up there? Currently, we are harvesting Durham. How's that Durham crop turning out? Well, the field I'm in right now is doing like 58, so it's a pretty decent crop. And the harvest conditions, are they okay? Yes, uh, it's so much better than last year. <laughs> last year, the whole month of September rained, and uh, this year it's been warm. For North Dakota, it's staying fairly dry, so it's been a, a, a nice working condition. I know quality is important with Durham. Is it okay? We're getting it as it's, it's getting ready. I mean, it's all, all, almost the verge of not ready, yeah, so the quality is really good. The other crops up there, anything else you've harvested? Yeah, we just pulled off of some canola, and that was making 2,500 pounds. Uh, we finished up the barley. Uh, that made about 70. Uh, we've got a little bit of spring wheat. Still got quite a bit left to go on it. How's that doing? It's got a hit and miss depending on what it was rotated afterwards and stuff, but uh, anywhere from 40 to 60. Oklahoma Custom Harvester Dylan DeBach working at Tioga, North Dakota. Well, thanks for joining us for the Harvest USA Report. It's always great to have you along. More on the web at agsearch.us. May God bless and you come back and join us again, won't you? I'm Howard Hale.